Um, I know everybody's overmanned. I know everything, but I have been talking and trying to communicate some problem all the way from back. I believe it was um, Melanie Dickey, and then it was taken out by Peg Clarkson and. And I think there was a gentleman there for a, just a small brief time in the 2016 period when I was trying to communicate what was going on when when lit, there was little amount of knowledge and what really happened and about the Shelley actually f telling the truth as she lied about the scratching and um, the things that she had done and such. Um, uh, and she promised she wanted to become a better person. And she seemed to work at it, but she seemed to always gravitate towards these rotten places too. KOA being one of them. So, what then eventually happened was, um, Ninja. Um, I asked back then, we need help. Because I already seen what Sheila's family was starting to do to Sheila. They were putting her under greater stress. I didn't realize that their stress that they were causing both me and her was aggravating our disabilities, causing it to create a uh, avalanche of effects in their favor against us. And they employed what I've been catching up on was some new things that were, and they paved the way for us to be labeled as mental and it made us less credible even though we were the good ones yes I have a criminal past I don't deny it <laughs> you want to know more about that listen to other tapes or if they're not out yet wait and listen or better yet go to the local thing and check out my record and then you can also check out what happened and why for those crimes did I receive this kind of a sentence? Or you can just wait and save yourself ten bucks and not pay the man. Because I'll show you. I say nothing without having some kind of evidence to back it. Especially if you ask. I don't expect anybody to take me at my word. I don't even expect anybody to take the evidence that I show you. I expect that if I give you something, though, and you turn around and you say, say, hey, where is this? This was filed in such and such case, such and such county. Here's the case number, and you go online and you look it up, you will find it. But here's the thing. Back then, and also the second time in 2018, as well as actually two times in 2018, and the second time... Um, I can't remember which one it was because I have certain things and it was really shocking what happened. I was handed a letter real quick out the door and said, we, don't, we do not need your help. And the door was shut real quick. And all I was trying to do was get them to understand one way or another that Miss Acosta had every right to defend herself because what I do remember of my behavior because of my overwhelming fear and panic and then reinforced by some of those individuals being on site that very night. Um, yeah. Horrible. Horrible in every way. Um, that's what you got, though. And I asked for help. 
help, help. If she took the time, either any one of them took the time to say, what do you mean by help? Because before I started really educating myself, help meant a lot of things. If I'm saying help, I am so down and not able to know what to do in this circumstantial situation that all I can do is say help because I am completely and utterly lost. And if you've ever experienced that feeling of utter complete loss of the entire situation where you have no control of anything. Where if you move right or left, up or down, back or forwards, if you leave or go, come or stay, whatever you, anything you do will not do anything, will not help in any way. And look, this is so depressing that my cat ninja literally is, uh, mommy sickness. She's missing her babies. I ha I couldn't. I couldn't keep all of them, and I could was not prepared. I had been prepared. Watch more on that December six. You'll see everything. I'm not hiding anything. Come on. It's time for everybody to grow up and get some pants and start putting on big, big boy breeches. You want to act? Act like a big boy, get the big boy britches on, okay? Come on, let's get it on. Pull up your suspenders now, put on the boots, come on, there you go. And I don't care if you're a boy or you're a girl, you're going to have to grow up one day with nothing, if you're especially going to be something. Now, if you don't want nothing, get rid of all your responsibilities. Seriously, get rid of all your responsibilities, stop pretending. If you have any responsibilities, it's time you grow up. It's time you take responsibility. It's time that you taught any of those responsibilities the best thing. If you got even a dog that keeps pissing on the carpet, I'll just let it keep pissing on the fucking carpet. Teach it. Teach it before it's unteachable. Or before you have to put it outside because it's unteachable and it's just, it will piss their shit wherever it wants to because you didn't teach it the difference between where you shit you don't where you live you don't shit basic logic where you eat you don't shit where you live you don't shit shitting is one place and we don't need no more shit <laughs>